What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. So I went to Disney Springs down in Florida, which is where the Lego store is um, near Disney. And it's about a 45 minute, half hour drive, depending on traffic, from Legoland. You can see I got eight cups of Pick-A-Brick. And they do it different. I noticed that um, they use the cups just like any Lego store that you've been to, as opposed to Legoland, which uses bags at the factory store that basically you pay by the pound or quarter pound. I think it's eight, eight dollars or so per quarter pound. Um, we'll get into that in a future video. I got several bags of that, and I believe each bag is probably two pick a brick cups. Um, basically just based on price, fill in one bag. One of these is like $16. I filled up several bags and they were right around $30, $31 a piece. So let's look, do a quick look. That one's pretty simple. I just needed a lot of gray. Yeah, I got some, I didn't pack them that great. I was kind of in a hurry and just trying to get some stuff. I bought some sets too, so there's a reason for it. They had just some random pieces, so I just grabbed a handful to top it off, but there's some dark grays with those different, I think both there's both sizes in there, or both angles. Really just mix that one up. This one was a bunch of elbows. I got some of those antennas, which I'll use for my farm. And some green slopes, which I may use on some tractor mods or maybe just some landscaping. And you can see these gray hook pieces, or I don't even know what you call them. I'm just having a memory lapse. All right, this one had a bunch of one by ones. That's some gold. You can kind of see what they are there. One by two with a weird. It's like a spoiler piece or something. I figured that'd be good decoration for decorative stuff. Some grills. More of those. And then some of those jumpers. And these. It's like the tan. Um, they use them a lot in white for like snow or ice, but I grabbed some of those maybe for decorative work. One by twos in green, that's always good to have. And some of the ones with the clips. And some of those gray, I think some of them are used as engine pieces, or spoilers or something. I got them maybe to try just to use for some landscaping with some different angles. All right, two more. And this is one by fours. I a bunch of those. Some one by twos, 45 degree slopes in green. And a couple doors. And I guess I grabbed a couple clips. I think I picked some of those up off the ground. I just threw them in there when I dropped some stuff. So yeah, bo and both sides are both kinds of doors. This one was a big hodgepodge. I needed a bunch of one reds. I'm trying to make a U.S. flag. Um, I've got an idea that I got from Legoland, and I needed a lot. I think I overdid it. More slopes, some different colors. And they had some red flags, which you don't see a lot of those. I think I have several, but you can never have enough of those. There's some red, oh, the ones with the clips, and a couple slopes. I'm trying to just fill in some stuff. So what else did I get actual set-wise? Because I imagine that's what you're looking for. I got two magnets. These are both on sale. I think they were originally 10. I think they're down to like $7.99. I've got a few of these other magnets. So I've got a big magnetic strip that I'm going to put on the wall here. I can just like attach it. I think it's got adhesive backing or I may end up gluing it or trying to screw into something. And I can just set all different magnets. I've got an Iron Man magnet, um, Lego Land, these, uh, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building in Paris. Um, I think I've got a Wolverine one too. 
So we might just stick one, uh, one of these places where there's a big gap like up here. We just got this dead space. Might do that with these. The reason I bought so many of these, I was working to get to that price point to get that. The vintage taxi gift with purchase. You had to spend 200 bucks. And I did, just barely. I even bought some Mario um, characters. Two of those, which are down there. Yeah, I only have three to this set. I bought two bags and I got two of the three that I already had. One of those days, one of those days. So that's pretty cool. I'll need to get the new modular set once it comes out and once there's double VIP on it in either March or if I wait till October, Bricktober in October or November when they do double VIP. I'll do it then. I'm in no hurry to get it. It'll be there for a while. But that's the set that's supposed to go with it. This was supposed to be the 15th anniversary gift with purchase for buying the modular kind of got late and delayed I believe and they put it with a $200 gift or yeah $200 free gift with purchase which that modular was $199 so that would have made sense but that's that that'll go in the Lego City you're thinking well there's not $200 there if you live in the U.S. It's hard to say. That's $128 in pick-a-brick cups. After tax, I think. I don't know if that's before tax or after tax. Anyway, on to the next one. I got this. My son's watching this. I think he likes the theme song more than anything. Rhino's okay. I wanted the Hulk. And Spidey, I've got a dozen different Spider-Mans, including the original ones from the early 2000s, Tobey Maguire movies. So, three minifigs, and some big fists, and some other random parts. It's kind of just one of those things, like, I need to get to a certain price point. And then I was stuck. I couldn't figure out what to get. And I broke down and paid full price for this, which was, I think, $40, which I know... I know, you know it, it's going to drop to $32 and be on sale in a month or two, probably by April for sure. I'm sure I'll go to Walmart and see it on the shelf, 32 bucks even. But that's okay. I wouldn't have got that there. And just like any other Lego store, even though this is a bigger one, it was sparse, slim pickings on a lot of stuff. Just like the website that's like half empty, same thing. And I went, I think the 20, or no, the 30th of January. So if I waited two more days, they would have had the new releases and we didn't go back. So that was the only day I went. And I think shortly after that sold out or it's not available anymore. So it's worth it. I got an old crane from the early 80s, so I'll pair it with that, I like that road piece. I got a few of those right here. It's, I just got it, not in this haul, but I got them off parts and pieces. Um, just try to just fill out an order. So I'm using those for some work on my farm for a driveway. Anyway, that's the haul. Hope you guys liked it. I think I overspent myself. But, <laughs> I guess I could spend it on other crap. Might as well spend it on Lego and actually get some enjoyment out of it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.